good day everybody welcome back to the studio um today i'm going to be doing a part layer and then another like a top layer after i do this this one so so i'm doing a, a voiceover because when i was actually doing this video i wasn't feeling right um so i just really didn't want to transmit any any of that kind of energy uh to you guys so i'm all good now and uh now I'm, I'm i'm ready to go so what i'm doing is i've got i'm trying to uh create a color here so i'm just using some deep ocean green lares paste with some of that uh, uh frosty mint and um just just trying to adjust the color and i did it a few times and now adding some sky blue tint and some more and just kind of tinkering with it until I get the, the, the right shade. And looking at it now, I probably should have just used my turquoise green um, pigment. <laughs> that would have been spot on. But anyway, you do these things and I like mixing colors and I like making colors. So now just testing to see how it looks. Um, and obviously because I added so much extra pigment and extra tint I added some more um, clear resin just to you know make sure the ratio is right and also you know to make it a little bit more transparent than what it is because it's quite opaque this color and just spreading it around now with my silicon uh, brush here just in that area because I wanted to separate that it's supposed to be a wave and then there's a sky behind there so I'm just uh, trying to balance it out a little bit and work on the composition a bit more. And I don't know if you can see that above there I've added some, I just drew some uh, little birds. Um, you know, just an extra something just to let you know that that is a sky up there. And now going around with some clear resin and uh, now going with with a white and I'm going to try and and make that look a little bit more like like a wave breaking up there and just a, a little bit of heat and a bit of um, extra you know adjustments so at the moment I've only got resin really on on, on that little area there so not the whole board will be covered at this stage that will be the next day uh, when when I actually go in and cover the whole board with uh, just clear resin so going in with uh, with a white the clear went down first and now the white and just uh, a little bit of heat just to move that and you will see in the photos at the end the amazing amazing effects that I got from this angel white um, the foaming effects are just uh, marvelous and like when I first started and if you've seen the previous um, previous part um, just uh, have a look if you haven't seen it go and have a look I was saying how I don't want too many effects you know I just want to make it into a like a, oh look at it all happening now oh my goodness holy doolies so I didn't want any effects, I just wanted to make it into like a seascape painting with resin. But then, you know, you can't help yourself with that angel white. It just, it's, it's just amazing. And it really did add to, to the painting. Like, it's, it's great getting effects and it's great getting the, the cells and the foam and the lacing and all that stuff. But if it doesn't suit the artwork then it you know it just looks a bit odd but this definitely suits so I'm just going around now and just looking at other areas and other places that I want to emphasize these waves and and create a bit of a dimension here and that's what I'm doing and that sand part there that uh, that color is absolutely amazing neutral color is called the light pebble uh, I love it. I love it for sand. I really do. Because the sand here where, where, where I'm living, uh, the beach is like 10-15 minutes away and the sand is uh, that sort of colour. And where I used to live before, and I used to go to the beach, 
Uh, the sand was white. It was just like really, really light color. So, and you 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 get you get different color sands. So anyway, um, not trying to educate you on sand color, but there there's different color sand. But this is really great for where I'm at now. So it's already starting to look good. It's already you know looking like like a, a seascape to me and uh, just fixing bits and pieces here and there really um, that's that's all I'm doing adding a little bit more of that the white and this painting was already claimed by my um, my daughter-in-law so I'm real happy because I love to I love to, um, to have my paintings stay in the family if you know what I mean and I have three kids and they have kids so there's no shortage of where to where where to send these paintings, so I'm really happy with that because I don't really sell. Well, I I can't remember the last time I sold a painting, but I I haven't really applied myself. Uh, I might have to do that. I might need some advice on how to do that. I used to do that like years and years ago, maybe 20 years ago. I was a professional artist, and we didn't have YouTube, and we didn't have um. The, the social media like we do now to advertise these things so when I still did actually sell quite a lot of paintings different to this of course it's more traditional art good day everybody welcome back it's the next day um, and I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here just needs uh, let me just bring you down so you can see I might even just bring this up a little bit so you can see that there's um, a raised part where I poured over. It worked out really, really well. I like that. And I've got some little birds here. So I'm happy with that. But I do want to make it nice and flat. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But what I have here is um, just a little bit of sky blue tint only about a drop went in there and I'm going to put actually what have I done with my brush oh here it is just going to dip my brush in a bit of water um, I don't want to put alcohol in this because these are tints they're not alcohol inks and I just want to do this see pretty much just to wet my brush with this blue because I want to go over like this and I might need to flip it around so it's easier for me it's easier for me to do it this way I'm just going to go around and stain this well I could actually go with a little bit more of the tint put another couple of drops in there make sure I mix it again I've got to be careful because um, this will stain so I've got to be I've got to watch what I'm doing Go a bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of rub that on there, and I'll go a couple of times um, because I want to make this transition. I want to make it darker down here and lighter up the top. Whoop. So that's all I am doing and I, I could have mixed I could have uh, mixed my tint directly in resin but I don't want to risk uh, it running over my wave here and I, I, I'm quite fond of my wave and I don't want to ruin it so that's why I'm doing it this way okay so it doesn't need to even take that long just me and because I mixed it with water it's quite uh, runny but I just was a bit worried about it being too strong color wise and then we're going to go around with a hair dryer and just dry it up a little bit I want to have a look at it 
Let's see if I need to add more to it, or maybe a different color. So you can see that transition looks good. Okay, hair dryer. All right, I am happy with that now uh, because that to me it's, it's more subtle. I will go around here a little bit with this blue as well, just to give the bit of a reflection of the sky in the water. Just a little bit, not too much. Good. Now that that is done, we are ready for our resin. Just make sure that that is dry. It's still a little bit wet. The, the brush is pretty dry, so it's picking up all the, you know, the wet tint that doesn't need to be wet anymore and blending all of it in there that is that okay so the video decided to stop recording in the middle of me pouring um well starting to get the resin organized so anyway i just poured resin straight over the top of the whole thing um Platinum art coat, like a thicker resin. Um, I'm glad that you've got everything else. So I just went with my with my hand and uh, and smoothed it all out everywhere. So now torch, just for the bubbles. is it that that is it so I'll just be keeping an eye on it a little bit just in case some of the things uh, I, I get some droppage of stuff in there so what was I what I, I was saying before was I don't um, I don't uh, sand my my uh, in between coats i never do that because resin sticks to resin and there's no need um, just like silicon sticks to silicon and nothing will you can't un unglue those you know once once they stick together so the same thing goes with resin the only thing is sometimes if it's if it's a really thin coat like i have here um and you've got fingerprints and things like that you might get some uh, like uh, areas that are not covered but if you go around now like, like I'm doing and making sure that everything is covered up then uh, we should be sweet no dramas at all so I'm going to leave it at that I'm just going to every now and then um, torch it a little bit just to make sure that the bubbles are all gone and it, everything is nice and um, nice and smooth and there's no hairs or anything so that's a thicker area here and this is a thinner area because remember I poured that over uh, yesterday and now I'm pouring over these other parts so that's it for me I'll see you again in ooh, probably several hours when this is nearly nearly set and ready to go and I will do a close-up you have to see this part here and this part here is just unbelievable um, so until then, um, um, I'll see you soon. Okay, let's have a look at it close up. You know what I mean? Look at that. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's see, zoom in. Maybe I can zoom it in from the top. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. You need to go close. And see, 
and see that blue that I added how it helps everything helps look at that here we go again look at that foam okay so it's the next day i'm real happy with her and i will take some close-ups for you i mean there hasn't been a lot of movement so there's not much anything special for you to see but i just want to show you how easy this is going to come off now watch this see that it's all going to come off and some of these sort of stuck that's no problem because you just get something all right let's take the whole thing off first and then i'll deal with the drips which will come off real easy without a problem taking the tape off first just because I'm impatient to go slowly I just wanted to sort of show you and I'm going to clean up my mess here so these are going to come off easy as you can see see that it just comes off real easy just rub it a little bit with your with your fingers and it's all coming off see that so that is that and then the drips and then the drips oh look at that they're even coming off just with my see that if I had longer nails it would work even better but you just get something and uh... okay so I've got my little chisel it's not a little chisel but look at that it just gives me better control to pop these off see that oh sugar you can't see it's a little bit difficult in this position you want to lay it down and work on it properly so now you can see how easy that is to take off it's coming off real easy so give it a go it'll make it much simpler and easier for you and uh, that's it from me I'll take care of this after but I hope you like this video and give it a go it wasn't hard creating these um, these effects so a simple little technique and uh, and a good product and uh, simples just give it a go